Hey there, come on in. I'm Donya and you're in my kitchen today. And you know what we're gonna be cooking? A nostalgic recipe that I think once I say the name, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, I made these as a kid and I forgot all about them. The recipe is hamburger hobo dinner foil packs. I know that sounds like a mouthful, but actually it's one meal in a foil pack. And y'all, let me tell you something. I made these when I was growing up in um, Girl Scouts. That's, that's how I learned to make them, when I was a Girl Scout. And then my boys used to make them when they were on camping trips with Scouts or uh, summer camp, whatever. And um, I forgot about them too. But then I made my own version and um, we have loved them ever since. You want to know why people love these things? Besides the fact that it's one meal in a package, it's because you can customize it with all kinds of different ingredients. And who doesn't like that? Because here's the thing, if you've got a picky eater, um, let me be clear, I'm married to one. So you get to put in what ingredients you like. So the first thing we're gonna do is run through the ingredients you need to make these. Okay, let's go through the ingredients that you're gonna need to make these foil packs. And guess what? I bet you already have most everything in your refrigerator or your pantry. Um, I've got a little over a pound of ground beef here. Um, you can buy whatever blend you want. I think this is like a 93.7. Um, I tend to buy what's on sale. You do what you want to do with that as well. Um, I have an onion, a potato, carrots, this is Montreal seasoning. I like that whenever I use beef. I also, this recipe, uh, you can make homemade Montreal seasoning, which is what I like to do, and that recipe is on southernsoul.com, so you can make homemade if you want. And we also have some butter, because that's gonna give a little bit more luscious flavor to a pretty simple meal once we cook the foil packs and salt and pepper. I do have some parsley that we're gonna add on right at the end to give some freshness. Now that you know what you need to make the recipe, let's get the veggies ready to make the foil packs. First thing is the potato. I've just got a um, kind of a medium size russet potato and um, it's been washed and I'm slicing it. Mm, this might be about a fourth of an inch and one potato is going to work great uh, for all of the packets. Um, so um, I do not peel the potatoes because that's just one more step that you need to add. And um, you know, there's a lot of nutrients in the potatoes and um, it's, it's no big deal to keep the skin on, okay? So we've got these ready. There's our potatoes, okay? And now we're going to chop the carrots. Uh, the carrots are washed. I've got my little um, kitchen bowl over here that I put my scraps in. If you see me reaching over there, you know that's where I'm putting everything. Um, I chop these a little bit smaller because um, at the end, uh, as, as we build the foil packs, you want things about the same size. And even though these are little rings like this for the... Um, carrots, we're going to have multiple uh, pieces of carrots in the foil pack to go with the potatoes, okay? So um, we're going to chop some of these and get these ready, and um, then we will move on to the onion. Now it's time for the biggest flavor booster in the recipe, and that's an onion. I'm using a Vidalia onion, and if you've never had one of those, it, if you're an onion lover, it's going to change your life. Um, the Daya onions are uh, uh, known throughout the South to give so much flavor. They're a little bit sweeter, they're tender, and it's going to make this recipe so crazy delicious. Um, in the summertime, I can tell you, I pretty much put the Daya onion into everything I eat, and there's nothing like a slice of it on a tomato sandwich, in my opinion. Um, I could eat just just a Vidalia onion, uh, sauteed on its own. So we're gonna get this onion ready, peel the skin off, and we're gonna give it a few slices as well. And as I said earlier, um, 
when I was describing this recipe, one of the things you need to make sure of is there's some people who um, who love peppers and um, like red peppers, bell peppers, any, any of the color peppers. Uh, you could put jalapeno pepper in this. Um, all different kinds of flavors work beautifully with the ground beef. And you can see here too, one of the things that's so great about this is that um, you've got some base of flavors, then you can amp it up with all different kinds of other veggies. But also this is very, very economical. This really stretches a budget, especially if you've got um, friends of your kids coming over or a family cookout, you could make a station and everybody could pick their own ingredient and make their foil packet. Um, take a Sharpie, write the name on the top, and you are ready to go for a fantastic party. Okay, so here's the veggies prepped and now we're gonna start building the foil pack with the ground beef. Okay, now let's make the um, dinner foil packs. Here's a little kitchen tip that um, it kind of helps even things out when you are dividing up uh, ground beef, ground turkey, chicken, whatever. I kind of pat it down in the bowl and then I make some little score marks across the way. So that kind of divides it up so I know how much I'm scooping out before I start building my patties. Okay, so I'm gonna make four patties, but I'm gonna show you how to do two of them to begin with. So we've got a couple of potatoes. We are gonna put a couple of onion slices here on each one of them, okay? Two or three, however much you like. That's no big deal. Now we're going to scoop out our, our um, ground beef. You can make this in any, any uh, shape that you want. I kind of make it in kind of like a little oval and press that together. And then you're gonna sit that right on top of your, um, of your potatoes and onions. Okay, we're gonna make the second one. And don't press it too much together because then, then the meat is just so dense and it's not very good. So it just, you want it to be light and so that some of our seasoning and all of the juices from everything else we're putting on there really fills up in, in the burgers. Okay, now we're going to put our um, carrots in and I just kind of sprinkle these around. Now listen, I know you're gonna say, oh my gosh, well, is everything gonna stick to the tin foil and how is that gonna work? Don't worry about that. The fat from the ground beef and also our super secret ingredient that's gonna make it extra yummy is, um, is gonna help with that. Okay, so we've got potatoes, onions, ground beef, potatoes, onions, ground beef, and our carrots. Next, I'm going to take a little pat of butter and I'm gonna place it right on top of that ground beef. Okay, don't worry, it's just one pat of butter, it's all good. Last but not least, I'm gonna sprinkle everything with the McCormick seasoning. Can you, I know you can tell this is gonna be so good and it's gonna make you so happy. All you need is a nice green salad or really, if you don't wanna serve a salad with this, that's okay too. Just like it is, it's gonna be delicious. Now, we're gonna wrap these up. It may be a little bit tight, that's okay. Oh, and just so you know, I'm using two, two pieces of um, aluminum foil. If you have um, heavy duty foil, you only need to use one but I'm using two and you're just gonna seal them up, okay? Make sure it's nice and tight because you want everything to cook and all of that nice seasoning to flavor the veggies and the ground beef. And see, we're gonna do the same thing to this one, okay? Okay, so we've got two of these ready. I'm gonna make two more, then we're gonna pop them in the oven. Okay, so I've made uh, all four of the uh, dinner foil packs and they are gonna go in the oven. Here's the thing. You can cook these so many different ways. Today, I'm gonna make them in the oven just because it's a time saver for me, but you can also make them on the grill. You can make them over a campfire. And uh, if you are a fan of meal prep, or let's say maybe you're going camping or um, going to an outing with friends in your community, whatever, 
these are great to make ahead because you see that it's it's the whole meal in one packet you can make these ahead store them in the fridge and then when you're ready to cook them take them out and and um, oven grill campfire however you want to cook them so i'm headed to the oven okay y'all the hobo dinner full packs have been cooking in the oven and they are all done now it's time to finish them off and uh, enjoy so I'm gonna take one of the packets now be careful because these are super hot okay and so I'm gonna put this right here and oh my goodness you can see it's so nice and steamy and they have just cooked perfectly oh, that's so good and the veggies are all cooked. I am gonna sprinkle just a little parsley on it to give a little fresh flavor. Maybe just an extra little sprinkle of salt and a little bit of black pepper. I hope y'all can see, I wish you could smell it because these smell absolutely incredible. And um, let's see if I can give you a little, so the potato is nice and tender. It's just falling apart. It's so good with one of those carrots. And um, let me see if I can get a little, little piece of this, this yummy hamburger dinner. It is, y'all, it is gonna burn my mouth off. But I'm gonna take a little taste and see how it is. Mmm. Y'all, this just brings back a flood of memories of being outside, of camping, summertime cooking. But here's the thing. This is not just for summer. This is all year round, a great recipe for that. Now remember, you can get this full recipe on southersoul.com. I'm gonna put the link here too, so you can go grab it and make these. Please make them as soon as you can. And I've got a big favor. Please, if you'll comment, let me know what you think of this recipe. Make sure to share it, like it, and don't forget to subscribe. But before we go, I got a question for you. This is one that brings back great memories for me, so why don't you let me know what your favorite childhood recipe is? Something that made you feel good that you even still like to cook today. So until next time,